border wall. Joining me now, Congressman Andy Biggs of Arizona, co-chair of the Border Security Caucus. The congressman also serves in the House Judiciary Committee, Science, Space, Technology Committee, member of the House Freedom Caucus. Congressman, good to have you with us. Are you shocked by this Monmouth poll? Not at all. Not at all. In fact, I've been advocating that we not make that trade. I think it's a bad trade. It has nothing to do with border security or the wall. And what it would do is it would provide additional, it would provide additional incentives for people to come here and stay here illegally. Not to mention, Lou, uh, that DACA population is about 690,000. They, they want to add another million to it. They want 1.8 only... million. 1.8 yeah. million, not, yeah. not and 700,000. That's right, and that's all the for dims, the population right. before before 2012. You start adding the same people, man, it's going to be big. It's going to be a big number. It's going to be big. Uh, and would you recommend to the president that he just simply insist that they build the damn gum wall before uh, even having a discussion about amnesty in any form? Because they're going to they're yeah. going to do what they've done for 30 years. They're going to cheat, lie, and steal. The dims. right. I mean. Look, here's the deal. I don't think he should even wait till February 15th. There's not going to be a deal that comes out of here. You see it already. I see it. There isn't anybody thinking there's a deal. I'm proud of him for wanting to stand up, but I think what he needs to do now is Title 10 gives him authority to, you know, where there's a drug corridor, active drug corridor, Department of Defense can access money and build a fence. I think he needs to do that. I would say, you know, when you and I are done talking tonight, I would ask him to do that, you know. That's, I think that needs to happen. I want to. I just want to show very quickly these uh, these overdose deaths in 1990 when you you remember Tom Clancy and uh, yep. uh, his terrific uh, books, uh, one uh, clear and present danger on the drugs and what it was doing. 30 years ago, this year, uh, going back to then, 8,400 uh, drug overdose deaths. Last year, uh, 2017, I should say. 70, more than 70,000, and you know the number will be significantly higher now. Right. This is a crisis, uh, Mr. Schumer, uh, Ms. Pelosi. Methamphetamine seized in 1990, just under 800 pounds, uh, and now more than 60,000 pounds. Heroin, uh, 1,000 pounds in 90, in 17, nearly 5,000 pounds, and the list goes on and on and does not, as I said earlier, include fentanyl which has been uh, enough of it brought into this country to kill every American. Uh, right. This crisis, it is actually, uh, it's, it's, it's so irresponsible of the left uh, and the rhinos who lead your conference uh, to not support fully this president in declaring that emergency and taking action to build that wall. Right, absolutely. It, 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 is, it is a humanitarian issue, but it is, as a result of the drugs coming across the border. They pour across the border. And look, we, we know that they're sending people in as decoys to overwhelm our Border Patrol agents, and then they send the drug smugglers right in other portions of the border. This is happening. It is real. I was just down there a week ago, and I'm telling you, to continue to deny what's happening on the border is actually, in my, in my opinion, it is, it is malpractice. But it's, it's actually beyond that. It's unconscionable that they wouldn't address this problem. I don't think they're going to address the problem. I don't think Congress is going to address the problem adequately soon enough. I think it's time for the president to Sean, say, look, let, let's build it. Let's build the water. Congressman Sean Duffy said he thought that it would, uh, might be overturned by the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeal. Uh, I, I, I've got to ask you, what do you think will happen? I know that's become the conventional argument against it. It sounds like something manufactured to me by the Koch brothers uh, and Tom Donahue over at the chamber. Uh, your thoughts? Look, if you don't do this, you'll never know. I mean, who knows what the Ninth Circuit will do, but I think uh, uh, Title 10, Section 284, I think it's pretty clear that the president has authority, that the administration has the authority. Yeah. And I believe even if they come in and they try to set this aside in the Ninth Circuit, I believe the U.S. Supreme Court is going to overturn any injunction that they get. All right. Congressman Andy Biggs, as always, great to have you with us. Thanks.